let's discuss the concept of apparent expansion of a liquid. This concept is used whenever a liquid completely fills a container, which is say of a given volume V naught. V naught is the volume of this container as well as that of the liquid which is completely filling the whole volume in the container. Say this container is made up of a material which is having coefficient of cubical expansion gamma c and the coefficient of cubical expansion of liquid we can write as say gamma l. In this situation if system temperature increases by delta t, we know that both liquid as well as that of the volume occupied by the container will increase. So, if that system temperature increases by delta T, we can write final volume of liquid is V L, which can be written as V naught 1 plus gamma L delta T. And the final volume of container is, this can be written as V C, which is V naught 1 plus gamma C delta T. And as we know liquids are always having the expansion coefficient more than that of uh, solids. And for the same rise in temperature liquid always expands more than solid. So, as gamma L is more than gamma C, we can write the volume overflow will be, because certainly some volume will overflow due to the more expansion in liquid. As volume overflow delta V, OF can be written as final volume of liquid minus final volume of container. We substitute the values here. This total volume overflow can be written as this V naught gets cancelled out. This V naught gamma liquid minus gamma container into delta T. So, this is the volume of liquid which has overflown or which is coming out of the container. So, this can be written as the expansion of liquid with respect to container. This expansion of liquid with respect to container, because relative to container, this is the amount of liquid which is coming out or which is expanded extra. So, in this situation, this can be written as V naught multiplied by this difference of the two coefficients can be written as gamma AP or called as gamma apparent delta T. So, this is the total overflow volume which can be directly calculated in case if it is required. And here gamma AP is written as gamma L minus gamma C termed as coefficient of apparent expansion of liquid with respect to container. This is also a very useful concept. Let us have a look on an example based on this logic which can be directly handled by using this apparent expansion of liquid with respect to container. 